Hi guys, I did a video where I converted this uh, little cheap toy from Poundland, Play and Learn, Junior Vehicle. Um, converted it to rubber band power just by adding a rubber band and wrapping it around the back axle. Now I want to see if I can put an electric motor in here. So I've been to Poundland again and I've got a nasal hair removal kit because I've used these before. Got an electric motor in there with a handy little shaft sticking out here. Battery would be handy. Hmm, that's a good start. Oh, it is working. Just can't hear it. <laughs> We see it spinning. So, that's a handy little package. We've got a battery in there, electric motor in there. We've got a shaft coming out the end that I should be able to put a pulley on. So, I'll see if there's any way of getting it in here at the right sort of height. Take that out for a minute so I can judge things. I hope to be able to get it in there. Hot glue it in place. Uh, oh, that might be a bit too far back though, would not it? Because we need to get a pulley on here for that to turn. Might have to rethink that a bit. Might need to get that a bit further forwards. Either a pulley or a gear wheel. I'll have a look, see what I've got in my junk box. I'm going to do some fairly major surgery to this toy car now so that we can get my motor unit in there further in than it'll let us do it at the moment. I'm going to cut this centre section out. So we can sink that in. I'm also going to cut this flange off the front of here. So we've got a bit more access to the shaft in there. So we can get a pulley on it properly. Well, as usual with my projects, a change of plan as we go along. I was going to fit pulleys, but then I realised I've got my box full of random gears here. So we've got gears, we've got a worm gear on the end of the shaft of the uh, nose hair trimmer or whatever it's called and then a gear on the main axle. I've also mounted it the opposite way round to the way I was going to do it, it's now front wheel drive instead of rear wheel drive and the nasal hair trimmer is just wedged in place with a couple of bits of um, styrofoam to hold it in place. Oh, that's kind of loose. So, we'll go and try that out. Very low gearing again.
That'll do. It works. Summary time. What have we got? We've got a children's toy car from Poundland that I've motorised using a nasal hair trimmer from Poundland because that's a convenient motor on off switch and battery all in one piece. I had to add a worm gear or screw gear onto the shaft and then put a another gear on the back axle that bit of plastic on the axles to adjust the position to hold it in line with the worm gear and then it's wedged in place with bits of styrofoam and that's it oh I had to cut some of the bodywork out just to make room for it uh, the seats have got a hole in them now but that's it. Job done.